Well, let's talk about this one. The new 2023 BMW 7 Series has arrived and it is a technological wonder in what it delivers in terms of its powertrain, options, and interior goodies. Additionally, that interior looks fantastic. But we have to start this whole thing off by talking about how it looks and friends, I am not a fan of the design direction BMW has embarked upon. The automaker keeps pushing forward with ever larger grills in the nose. Other automakers are too, don't get me wrong, I know that. But with the explosion and growth of the BMW kidneys, it looks goofier with every new iteration. In profile, the car actually looks quite fantastic, as a proper modern flagship luxury sedan should, but then it falls apart again out back. The way the trunk flows into the bumper just feels off to the eyes. BMW has a history of some truly iconic sedan designs, and I hope it finds its way back there somehow. Slip inside though, and I think it might be possible to start forgetting about the exterior. This is luxury and tech colliding in what looks to be an excellent way. You have a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster with a larger 14.9 inch display just to the right. If the 7 Series is parked, you can pull up videos and watch them if you need a distraction from talking to your well-paid accountant. There are more screens still though. A pair of five and a half inch digital control surfaces sit in the rear doors to adjust seating positions, climate functions, and more. But that isn't the literal biggest thing to talk about inside. BMW is offering a rear seat theater display. It's just over 31 inches and drops down from the roof. It's a touchscreen that displays in 8K resolution, so it's nicer than your TV at home. Additionally, it uses an integrated Amazon Fire setup so you can watch whatever you want. And when the screen is active, the seats automatically recline, the rear sun shades go up, and the rear space dims. Brilliant. To take this up another notch, BMW offers an optional sound system over the standard 18 speaker setup. You can opt for a 36 speaker sound system that blasts out 1,965 watts. Yes, I want to watch the original Jurassic Park in the back of one of these. There's tons more tech to talk about, but we're already long for one of these types of videos. So let's move over to the powertrain options. You've got three to choose from here in the States, two of which drink fuel and another that chugs electrons. The base 740i gets a turbocharged inline six. It produces 375 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. Through a mild hybrid setup, however, it can boost torque up to 398 pound-feet when needed. Above that sits the 760i X-Drive, which jumps to V8 power. Here you'll find the 4.4 liter twin turbo, which also uses a 48 volt system to deliver a mighty impressive 536 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Both the 740 and 760 utilize an eight speed automatic. Last, but definitely not least, is the all new i7 X-Drive 60, which is a dumb name for a very interesting car. This is the electric one, and it uses one motor up front and one out back. Total power output here is 536 horsepower and 549 pound-feet of torque, and that power flows thanks to the large battery pack in the floor. It has 101.7 kilowatt hours of usable capacity, and per BMW, that's good for 300 miles of driving range. There's a lot more to dive into once we get our hands on one of these in the future, but for now, we do know the prices before they arrive. The base 740i starts at $94,295. The V8-powered 760i is $114,595, and the electric i7 starts at $120,295. While it's hard to get past the looks, I bet it drives wonderfully. And that interior is probably an absolutely amazing place to spend time, especially if you're sitting in the back seat with a great flick playing on that insane screen. <laughs> 